you work in RF, like my case, if you have a question about magnets or lattices, you know at least a couple of people that work on that and it's very easy to say, okay, I just drop an email or have a coffee with them. A lot of people from, um, coming from different um, topics in the accelerator community and for networking, that's great. There are so many things going around in an accelerator that it's very difficult to keep the track of everything. And also even in the beam diagnostic, which is a quite a small word, either you really sit down and study by your own which, or you go to this kind of school. You cannot just be expert on the thing you do, but you need to understand what is relevant for somebody else. Because if you're not aware of that, you will maybe make changes that affect somebody else or you will not consider a part of the problem that actually is very critical for somebody else. The hands-on stuff is really valuable, I think. Everyone gets a chance to learn, and um, it's always fun to actually play with the stuff, not just looking at the equations. Oh, those hands-on experiments are very, very interesting and exciting for me, because up to now I'm only doing data analysis, and so I, now I also get the hardware perspective. Now I understand, you know, after uh, more or less 35 years of experience in the field, uh, you have things that you want to say. And so it's, a, it's an honor and at the same time it's an opportunity to pass on what you know to the other ones. They are always available and they are always willing to have a coffee with you, have lunch together. And I recently talked to somebody who's uh, an expert in beam profile measurements, actually yesterday. And we talked uh, a lot about my project and he gave me really good ideas.